So I've just finished the Shy 55 video, at least for now. Uh, this is still that night. This is our next project. We were kind of looking at this today. That, well, that's extremely black. Um, and you can't see, camera probably doesn't show it, but there is a ton of filings in there. Uh, I heard some crunch crunching going on in here. Uh, maybe you guys can see that or not. I can definitely see the metallic. Anyways, so there was some crunch crunching going on there last time I used it. Uh, I thought it was a U-joint. I don't think so. I have pulled the plug on this side crystal clean. Uh, when we got this tractor, so I don't know, I put like maybe 200 hours on it so far since we've got it since last year. And uh, th that, all, the, all the fluids were changed this tractor. So this, this side is still extremely clean. It looks just like the uh, moment they put it in. Uh, so we are going to, not today, tomorrow we're gonna start tackling this baby. We're gonna pull these tires off. Um, and we're gonna get this apart. Uh, we had uh, one of the guys from Full Line come and look at it with us. And so if you, there's like, there's like serial numbers that say, hey, just so you know, between this serial number and this serial number, um, there's a problem. Well, in the serial numbers between this one and whatever the heck serial number it is, uh, I'm not saying it's a problem because we don't know until we get in there. But um, there's bad snap rings in uh, certain of these serial numbers. So it's looking like that might be the case. We'll find out tomorrow when we get into it. Um, but this is going to be the video and I will see you guys in the morning right now. Morning. Got that nice odor of burnt gear lube in here. All right, so we're gonna put this plug back in, pour this out, and we're actually going to back the tractor up and drain the other side, because if it is, uh, that snap ring, the, actually it doesn't matter. They say I should change the snap rings anyways in this tractor, so we're going to pull both sides apart. silverness oh yeah That's how it's supposed to look, clean. This probably isn't super light. Maybe we should just bring the cherry picker in here. There we go. Come give me that side. Your bottom corner, everything is stuck. Mine's open. I'm all loose. Okay. I think it's back up.
There's the problem. It doesn't look great in there. All the bearings are thicker than that. Let me get some chippage. Let's go uh, put her on the bench. Drive away. Oh. No, no, drive away. Down a bit more. Yep. Okay, well that gear is dickered, that gear is dickered, that gear is dickered. That, uh, this hub's good. Except for all the John. Call John. Come up to lunch or whatever. But uh, probably, yeah, that gear is dickered. We'll need, we'll need new. New pieces. That's, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna be coming home tonight and the wife's gonna wonder if I was at Nikki's or not. That's not glitter, that's metal filings. So yeah, we got the mechanic from John Deere coming here to look at this. Um, I already know we need all new parts. Anyways, uh, all right, he's a good guy. We like to just uh, bounce stuff off him because I don't know it all. This is my first time into, like I've seen these apart. This is the first time taking one apart. Oh my God. But I do know it's not supposed to look like that. So yeah, we're in a can of worms. I was taking out the race. Took the hot shaft out. Got a clean up in there. We need parts though, but we gotta get this seal off next. Pull all these apart. There's a brand new side. So yeah, we've got uh, parts ordered. This is what fell over. We have thirteen thousand dollars in parts so far for this particular screw up. So anyways, I'm going to get this little, little tension. I put that piece of aluminum there. Just in case. Aluminum is way softer than that metal. So there we have it. So I'm just down to the last one. Actually, it's not too bad of a job now. 
That doesn't look very good. I'm going to have the guys inspect that. But there, nothing really goes on there as long as I can polish that up and I'll have to polish this spot up. But yeah, this casting is good 100%. This one is good. I mean, it just doesn't look as pretty as it used to, but once you clean all that up, it'll be it'll be fine. Unless the uh, John G. Mechanic says, no, you gotta change the outside hub. Well, then so be it, but anyway. Anyway, so we're gonna get some parts coming and then we'll start putting this back together. Uh, it's probably gonna be a couple days, obviously, because we are Friday right now. I'm gonna imagine we're not gonna get anything till maybe next week, who knows, a month, just because of, I don't know what's going on in the world right now, but apparently we can't get anything. No parts anywhere, crazy. All right, we'll see when we get parts. Most of the parts have arrived. Yeah, there we go. Your tailgate locks all the goodies. Too many seals. Okay, lots of parts. We're about thirteen thousand dollars. Looks like. We're just organizing, going through, making sure we got everything. It looks like we're short. They're not ball bearings, or I don't know what you call those. But roller. It's roller bearings. But I'm assuming one package goes to each. I could be wrong though. Hey, how's it going, today, John? Okay, we have polished, we have cleaned, we have pressure washed, brake clean, putting the parts cleaner, clean this thing as best possible. We're gonna try putting these collars back over top that I pulled off. So, oh, they're in the oven. I'm gonna slide, try sliding them on. They don't slide on. Put them back in the oven, and then I'm gonna put this in the freezer, which they do not. And they are hot. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the freezer. Oh yeah, baby. Boom. Now we can take that back to the uh, shop and get everything together. So we're back in the shop and now those are exactly how you want them. Good and stuck on that. So we'll get our gear on, put these collars on, the rollers, put them there together. that bearing in just use a brass punch and a brass hammer and actually slip right in the loop but this party has come to a complete halt so that's what fails where's my failed one I think I showed this earlier in the video but that's the piece that fails um, so this is an early R so I by looks of it the 8120 like the 20 series and 30 series all have these caps uh, they came with brand new ones they just took them back to the shop because I can't use them so you can see uh, okay there's no filings on that this is offset the whole the one the new updated ones are right smack in the center so uh, these are hard to find there is three in Canada there is a bunch in the States 
So we're gonna do some calls to the states. We're gonna see if the Canadian ones will send them over, or uh, the guy. The, there's a dealership in Quebec. We'll see if they'll give up their three. We're gonna put all brand new on this side, and we're gonna put all brand new on the other side of the old style caps because the only way to get the new style caps is to replace the hat. Uh, this hat is 2,500 bucks. Um, there's only one of them, so I can't do both sides. Plus, I think I said before. All these other parts are about thirteen thousand uh, dollars. It's to do the other side complete, like this side. We're just talking too much money. So we are going to put all brand new old style caps on. Uh, this tractor has forty five hundred or forty seven hundred hours on. So we're going to roll the dice, put brand new ones on, and uh, another two thousand hours. We're just going to change them again, uh, just because they do fail. But to replace everything is just not. Well, it's just, it's just too much work. We're, we think the easiest solution right now is to put all brand new on and that'll get us going for quite a while because there's lots of 20 and 30 series out there that don't exactly have an issue right away, but they probably will unless they are updated, which are 8260, we do believe, because it's newer than this one, it has the different cast hubs and more heavy duty caps. Anyways, I'm going to end this video right now because I don't know when we're going to get this together and I'm a little bit frustrated to say the least. Um, it's nobody's fault. Um, the, oh, so, oh, the other downfall is we, when we found out we need a new cast hub. Oh, you've seen I already just slipped these nice little collars over. Um, so there's about $200 worth of parts sitting on this even if I take it apart and want to get the new cast hub or new cast hat to uh, complement the nice new caps. Um, Jesus sake. Anyways, anyways, uh, make sure you like and subscribe. We're gonna get back to this another day. Um, it's Friday. Uh, we'll find something else to do. Have a go in peace.